Hi, my name is Serena, and I am a part of the FLL Robotics team, Justine Pai, collaborating with Gummy Bear Robotics. In this video, I will talk about basic turns for Spike Prime robots and how to program them. In this tutorial, we'll explore two types of robot turns, the pivot turn and the spin turn. First, I'll introduce the basic concepts of each type of turn, explaining how they work. Then I'll walk you through coding examples for both types of turns so you can see how to make the robot move. Next, we'll dive into pseudocode, a way to plan out how the robot will navigate before moving on to a different complex route that combines more turns. There are two types of turns a robot can make, pivot turns and spin turns. In a pivot turn, one wheel stops moving and the robot turns around that wheel, kind of like when you spin in place on one foot. This turn is a little less precise, but it works well when you need to turn in a tight space. And spin turns. In a spin turn, one wheel moves forward and the other moves backward, making the robot spin in place like it's spinning around. This turn is faster because it takes up less space than a pivot turn, and it's usually more accurate because both wheels are moving. Let's try some dancing movements to help us understand these two types of turns better. So for a pivot turn, stand up with your feet shoulder width apart. Now repeatedly step forward with your right foot while keeping your left foot in the same spot. What happened? Did you turn without moving one of your feet? That's called a pivot turn. You stayed in one spot and turned around your pivot foot. Now for a spin turn, try jumping and turning at the same time in midair. Where did your feet land? Did each foot move in a different direction? That's called a spin turn because both of your feet moved in opposite directions and you spun around pretty quickly. You just became a turning robot. Let's talk a bit more about the pivot turn. On the left, we have an example for an 180 degree pivot turn right, where the left wheel of the robot is stopped and the right wheel keeps moving to have the robot completely change its direction. There are two movement blocks that can perform a pivot motion. Either start moving with a steering value of plus or minus 50, or moving for a fixed amount of rotation with a steering value of plus or minus 50. Please note that a steering value of plus 50 gives a right pivot turn, while negative 50 gives a left pivot turn. How do pivot turns work? In this example, I first set up my movement motors to be C and E, then using the movement block with a steering value of negative 50 to rotate for two seconds, this setting resulted in a pivot left turn with roughly 180 degrees. After waiting for 0.3 seconds, as you can see in the code, I set up a pivot right turn with a steering value of positive 50. And after two seconds of rotations, the robot positioned itself to the initial heading directions. The animations show how the robot reacted to the program or the video in the corner. Now let's focus on spin turns. On the left, we have an example for a 180 degree spin turn right, where the left wheel of the robot is moving forward and the right wheel keeps moving to have the robot completely change its direction. There are two movement blocks that can achieve a pivot motion, either starting moving with a steering value of positive or negative 100, or moving for a fixed amount of rotation with a steering value of positive or negative 100. Please note again that a steering value of positive 100 gives a right turn, while negative 100 gives a left spin turn. How do spin turns work? Both wheels rotate opposite ways. For example, in the first turn in this code, the left wheel moves backward, while the right wheel moves forwards, and vice versa for the second turn. You can see the robot spinning in place on the right in the video. Note that since both wheels are moving, the robot can actually turn about 360 degrees within two seconds, which is really, really fast. Now we've learned how to make a robot go straight or take simple turns with movement blocks, let's try a bit more complex challenge. In the left example for CS STEM website, 
We want the robot to navigate from starting home location to its destination at the finish location. There are a few craters in the way, so apparently the robot cannot simply go straight from home to the finish line. Can you solve the problem with simple combinations of these two movement methods, turns and straight movements? Now, before we go directly to solve this problem, I want to introduce the concept of pseudocode, which is a very useful way to plan out what you want the robot to do before you actually make it happen. Pseudocode is like writing out steps for a robot to follow, but using simple everyday words instead of real code. It's like making a plan before you start building or drawing. For this problem, we can break it into 10 steps. We have to move straight 12 centimeters, We have to spin turn right 0.57 rotation, which is about a right turn. We have to move straight 15.4 centimeters, spin turn left 0.57 rotations, move straight 30 centimeters, spin turn left 0.57 rotations, move straight 15.4 centimeters, spin turn right 0.57 rotations, and move straight 26 centimeters to finally stop at our finish line. Try implementing this code for your Spike Prime robot and leave your solution in the comments down below. We're excited to see what you try out. Anyways, this is my solution. The program runs basically everything that I said in word form on the last slide, except now we're putting it into block form. And as you can see on the right, the program works pretty well because when I put my water bottles as my craters, the robot can easily navigate through them with turns and straight movements. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you like and subscribe so you can be notified when we post the more in-depth videos about coding FLL robots. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below or reach us through our email. And these are some reference websites and videos I've used in my video. They'll be linked in the description of the video.